So just how different is COVID to the flu? Now, we've been banging on, on about symptoms now for 600 days, trying to get the government to expand the list and they've only managed to do it for one of the symptoms. But um, as you know by now, the common symptoms of COVID that we're seeing currently in the largely vaccinated population really is uh, pretty identical to what you'd see in most respiratory virus infections. And this has led many people, and uh, I'm seeing this on my social media, people saying, why are we worried about COVID? It's just like a bad cold. Uh, just get over it. And I think this is why I want to do this video to remind people of the uh, difference. Um, it's not at all the same viral infection, and that's really what I want to deal with. Um, let's just get the symptoms uh, right again. So in roughly the order of frequency, it's headache, runny nose, sneezing, uh, sore throat, cough, loss of smell, and fever. And they are the common ones to remember. The only difference between a, a flu-like illness and COVID is that loss of smell and taste is extremely rare in those other viruses. So that is the number one prediction, and that's what we showed with your data last year. Um, so, and, and you know, at the moment, uh, here we are, end of November, and it's uh, about one in four cases like this end up being due to COVID, which uh, most people are not aware of. But let's take a, a close look at a graph that the Zoe team have prepared about uh, the different viruses and if you can look in this graph you can see uh, some common viruses that you might uh, recognize from HIV at the top which uh, before treatments etc had about an 80 percent fatality rate and uh, other ones like Ebola virus 50 percent uh, fatality and smallpox about one in three people used to die. And that's on the this axis here going up in deadliness. And across the bottom, we've got a, a range of its infectiousness. And this is really how viruses are categorized, both in terms of their how deadly they are, how much they kill the host, and how easily they transmit from one person uh, to another. And uh, the more people lie to the right, the more infectious it is. And we've got a few conditions here like yellow fever, which uh, is nasty little uh, virus to get and is common in Africa and some parts of Asia. And you can't travel to those countries often if you don't have a vaccination, which you only need every 10 years uh, and is really extremely effective. And polio is another one that's really been vaccinated into uh, oblivion, uh, largely due to wild vaccination programs that made it uh, mandatory to get these tests. And you can see how they, they fa fared here. Uh, hepatitis B is another one that you can't work as a doctor uh, in uh, most countries of the world, including the UK, unless you've had a, a hepatitis B uh, vaccine. Now, Look how they compare with uh, the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes COVID-19. Uh, it, it's got roughly a 1% fatality rate and uh, somewhere between uh, a transmission value, the R0, between 5 and 6, depending on which variant we're looking at. So it is really a rather nasty virus that combines uh, a, a really high infectious rate with uh, a deadliness that is, is certainly not trivial. And compared to the Spanish flu, from the historical records, we think that the Spanish flu was slightly more uh, deadly, but not as actually contagious as these modern variants. Now, just compare that with flu and cold down here in the, the bottom left-hand corner. You can see that uh, the uh, flu really is, it, it kills uh, only about a tenth of uh, the population that uh, COVID does, 0.1% fatality, and has a contagion rate, an R value, only 
about one, one person will infect one other person in general or around that. It does vary from year to year. And colds, uh, no one really dies from a cold, uh, or very few, and its R value is uh, about two. So comparing flu and COVID, you know, one is, uh, we're talking five times more infectious. Uh, we're talking um, 10 times more, uh, more deadly. And I think this is really important for people to realize. And I, at the beginning of this whole pandemic, um, didn't really guess that we we're having this many problems. And I looked at the uh, data on, on flus. And of course, some years you can get as many as 20,000 deaths from flu. But uh, in 2018, we had 1,500 deaths in the UK and about 1200 in 2019 so you know less than 3000 people over 2 years but already uh with um covid we've got nearly up to 150,000 in the last 2 years so you know we're talking uh, much perhaps even up to 50 times more deaths a year and this puts it into perspective so hopefully you know more next time and you're asked and someone says, oh, COVID, it's just like a bad cold. You'll be able to uh, quote some more information about that and show why it's wrong. Maybe a cold just for you, but not necessarily for other people. And people will still die of this condition. So don't be complacent about symptoms. Um, and remember, there is a chance, whatever your respiratory symptoms at the moment, while rates are higher, it could still be COVID. So do stay home. Do get a lateral flow test. Don't mix with uh, other people uh, until you know it's uh, largely gone, which should be a few days. So do uh, please like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, and so you get informed of any new videos. Share this, share the app with anyone, particularly those people who have dropped off uh, recently. Tell us about all the new features. Keep an eye on our website for details and stay safe and keep logging. Thank you.